Oh, fish one. Oh my God, what is this? What's up everybody, Fish Hawk here. Today we're gonna do some tiny creek fishing. I got my chest waders on. I have my five foot six ultralight with four pound test line. And I have this little crankbait here. It's a Rebel Grub. I'm gonna start out with that, but I have a bunch of different lures and baits in my pack. It's probably gonna be a multi-species kind of day. Maybe some smallmouth bass, maybe some bluegill, maybe some rock bass. I'm not 100% sure what all is in here, but the goal today is just have fun, enjoy this beautiful weather, and catch fish. Stay tuned. All right, let's try this little run right here. Looks pretty good. Might have a fish or two in there. I know a lot of you guys probably know this already, but some of you may not. There's a log right here that's creating a break in the current. There's some soft water behind that log, some still water where fish can lay and wait for this current to bring uh, bait and food by them. So they'll sit behind there and wait to ambush it. Before I get too zoned into fishing, I wanna show you guys what I have here. I have a barrel swivel and then I have about a foot of leader and then I have my lure and that barrel swivel just helps keep a uh, line twist and stuff out of your line. This looks like a good little spot right here. Current's kind of wrapping around this, this debris here and there's some soft water right on the other side. Oh, first fish of the day. What is it? Looks like a little bluegill. And he is little. Gotta start somewhere, right? Can't believe you got that hook. Cute little feller though. See you, buddy. Where you at, fish? Man, that's disappointing. Might have to switch up to a different bait here after a bit. All right, I know I didn't give this grub much of a chance. I did catch one fish on it, but with this type of current down through here, it's really difficult to, to get this crankbait to dive down. The current just wants to make it rise, and this grub does float. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to something else. We are officially back in action. Got the trusty hair jig. This is a great multi-species bait. Oh, fishing one. Oh my God, what is this? It's pouring dang on drag. Oh, it's a big, it's a big fall fish. Holy crap. And I mean, it's a nice one. Look at this rod. Four pound test line, ultralight rod. Oh yeah, doesn't get much better than this, boys. Tiny creek fishing. Come on, come on, we'll let you go. Get out of that current. Got him. He freaking slammed it. That's a decent sized fish for this tiny creek, boys. They are pretty fish, and they fight like heck. Fun to catch, very fun to catch. All right, buddy, we're gonna let you go. There he goes. All right, boys, first decent fish on the old hair jig. I cast right down there up against those big boulders and he was probably sitting in there waiting for some bait to come by. I'm just kind of tossing it out there and just kind of jigging it back in, giving it some action, just trying to keep it off the bottom. All right, on to the next hole. There's some good water over here. There's gotta be a fish in here. There's gotta be. Yep, there he is. There he is. Yes. First smallie of the day. First smallie of the day. Get out of that current, boy. Come on, get out of that current. Right on the beach. Right in the corner of the mouth, the old hair jig got him. He slammed it. That's a decent little smallmouth for this creek. Put up a good fight. They're just one of the most beautiful fish. All right, little buddy, we go let you go. There he goes. Told you guys it'd be a multi-species kind of day. We've caught a bluegill, creek chub, fall fish, and a smallmouth bass. What is that? Is that not the creepiest thing you've ever seen? It's like some kind of bird with like Santa Claus outfit on. Very weird. Fish on. Fish on. Another creek chub. They fight hard. Come on.
All right, he just slipped out of my hands. <laughs> right at the bank. Followed her all the way to the bank. Look how bright that fish is. Cute little feller. See you, buddy. I'm gonna hook this fish in here. <laughs> He's just chilling in this soft water. Got him. <laughs> I knew I'd eventually get him. He just couldn't resist. Oh, look at that, boys. We got us a rock bass. We're gonna have to talk to old Extreme Philly Fishing here, boys, because we are just racking up the multi-species today. Little rock bass. They are pretty fish. I was just walking down through here and he was just chilling in that deep water right there where that tree had uprooted. See ya, buddy. Right back where I caught him from. I think that's like four species now. Bluegill, fall fish, creek chub, smallmouth bass, and rock bass. I believe we're at four. Oh my God, he hit it as soon as it hit the water. Just a little bluegill. If you guys know the specific name for these fish, comment below and let me know what it is. I just call them bluegill, but I'm pretty sure there's a uh, specific name for them. The color's right there on their fins. Pretty little feller. Fish on. What do I got? What do I got? What do I got? He's swimming right at me. Oh, another creek chub. See you, buddy. All right, it looks like it's about to storm. The wind's blowing. It's getting real dark. And uh, this hair jig here just started coming apart. I got these hair jigs at Walmart, and I'm going to leave that information in the description in case you guys want to pick some of these up. They're great multi-species lures. But I'm going to start heading back to my truck, and depending on what the weather does, um, I may fish upstream from my truck because... When I started, I started fishing downstream from my truck, and there's uh, there's some pretty decent water upstream, so I might try that out, depending on the weather. You guys can tell how dark it is. Look at all those clouds. So I had two hair jigs in my backpack, and obviously the one was coming apart. I put the second one on, and very first cast, I lost it on one of those logs. So I'm out of, uh, out of hair jigs and I put a trout magnet on instead. It's pretty much the same concept, it's just this is a soft plastic and that was, uh, that was hair. Fish on. Just a little, little sunny. And I mean little, holy crap. How did he get that hook? See ya buddy. Really need a kayak for this kind of hole. I mean look how big this, this creek is up here compared to where I was just fishing. It's the same exact creek. Fish on, just a little feller. What is this? It's a tiny smallmouth. Holy crap. Look at this smallmouth, guys. He is perfect. Beautiful. I can even lip him. Look at that. Fish on. I don't know what it is. I think it's a bluegill. Yep, it's a big old bluegill. Right off that log over there. I think that's the biggest, definitely the biggest blue go I've caught today. Not a bad one. They put up a good fight. And he released himself. See ya, buddy. Oh, what is this? Another big bluegill. Holy crap. Man, they fight hard. I think that one is bigger than the last one. They just keep getting bigger. Eh, he's about the same exact size as the last one. See you, buddy. All right, boys and girls. I think it's time for old Fish Hulk to head out of here, get some grub, get a drink, do a little relaxing. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Had a lot of fun fishing this creek. I believe I caught four different species, and I caught at least... 10 fish. Most of the fish I caught were on that yellow and black hair jig, but I also caught some fish on this trout magnet right here. I'm going to leave both the hair jig and the trout magnet in the description below so you guys can check those out if you want. The weather was pretty decent. It did look like it was going to storm and got cloudy and windy, but it never did rain. It never did thunder or lightning, so I can't complain. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for watching. Fish Hulk out. Thank you.